What's going on? It has been months since my last video, unfortunately. I've been crazy busy in the last three months. I graduated from Iowa State University with a degree in mechanical engineering. And then I went on and got my first full-time job in engineering as a mechanical design engineer. And so things have been crazy busy and I got a little bit distracted. By far the biggest distraction has been this G35 sedan that I picked up about a month ago. And when I got it, it had BCs on it. It already had an exhaust. So it was a good clean base as a six speed manual. And uh, I wanted to set it up for daily driving to my new job and then also take it to the track uh, with the small crimes boys while I finish up the FC that still needs a lot of work. So I threw on some 57 DRs. I put on all adjustable arms in the rear and the front uppers so I could zero out my camber and kind of set it up for the track. I also threw on a dual caliper kit so I've got the Chase Base Hydro in there. It's all black interior, it's pretty clean. It's not been a bad car so far. I also did fry the power steering pump on the first couple laps, so I replaced that already. But it's a G, it's a good daily. Uh, nothing too special about it, but man, I, I love having something else to drive besides my Cummins every day. All right, so where does that leave us with the FC? We are behind, big time. Uh, I was hoping to be like, test fired and maybe testing at the track later in this year. And I'll be lucky to hit October. Um, if not, then it's gonna be pushed to May where you know final um, testing and fit up is gonna have to happen. But I just really wanna match the level of quality throughout this build and do it the right way the first time. And a lot of that involves creating custom parts from scratch. And uh, that's one thing that I've done here in the last couple of months in the background that I haven't really been showing. All right, so the product I've been working on has been this Billet 2JZ Idler Pulley Bracket Setup. And uh, why do we even need any of this? Well, the biggest goal is to change the belt routing and improve the surface area on the pulleys. Uh, because for anyone like me who is removing their OEM power steering pump and their OEM AC compressor, you're left with four pulleys and you have to just run it right around. There's no other option. And when you reduce the surface area on the alternator and the crank pulley by that much from OEM, you get a lot of slippage, you get a lot of belt whine, and you can throw belts. It's just a nightmare from what I've you know, seen from other people with similar setups. So I'm trying to get ahead of that and design this solution. And this solution is for people who run electric power steering or a Rad Industries KRC power steering pump setup. And the one shown here is for people that run electric power steering. It comes with shorter spacers and attaches straight onto the oil pump. And um, the goal is to change it so that it runs the belt routing similar to people who just remove an AC compressor. So there's a ton of increase in surface area on the crank pulley. And um, for people that run the KRC pump, like myself, this gets sandwiched first onto the oil pump and then this bracket I designed will come out in front of it and will come with longer hardware, come with longer spacers and come with a shorter spacer for the pulley so that everything lines up equally the same. And um, so it's taken a lot of time for me to try and progress with that in, the, uh, in my spare time and it doesn't really apply to me moving forward with the chassis and getting it on the ground and getting it ready. But you know, trying to get ahead of this and uh, create a solution for other like-minded people as well. All right, so where are we at going forward? Um, I'm pretty well done with fabrication. There is not a whole lot left up here. Um, I think I am safe to just start pulling everything out and get ready for painting. I am so tired of mocking things up and not having things ready to just fully torque and get into the final stage. So I'm just gonna risk it take whatever fabrication happens in the future and hopefully everything is bolt on and there is no welding involved um, and just start rolling forward with paint and getting this engine bay prepped. So I'm gonna pull engine trans, intercooler, radiator, everything, start putting it in a storage state so it doesn't get contamination. And then I'm going to start sanding this whole roll cage, sand the interior, get the uh, rear firewall situation figured out and get the whole rear uh, pulled as well and ready for paint. So um, in the meantime, I do have one video that I want to put out featuring a new exciting product I've worked on as well. One big thing for me with the FC is that I really like the Z32 calipers made by PBM. 
and I wanted to uh, get away from the OEM regular single piston caliper setup on the FC. So what I've done is I've designed a new dual caliper setup for the RX-7 that also replaces the foot brake. So I've got uh, machine brackets that bolt onto the front of the knuckle and they adapt Z32s for both the foot brake and the hydraulic handbrake side. And so completely ditching the OEM calipers. So I wanna do a little bit of an install video showing how that's done and how you get this perfect looking setup for your FC. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you noticed, got new tees. These embroidered shirts are in the link in the description below. And uh, thanks for following along. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.